Hi, my name is Larry and welcome to this episode of Learn It With Larry. And in this episode, we're going to talk about recording. So how do you do that in Atom Mini Pro? So as you know, Atom Mini and Atom Mini Pro has USB-C port. It serves two purposes. The first purpose is the same as Atom Mini. When you connect a USB-C port at the back of your Atom Mini or Atom Mini Pro to your laptop, your laptop sees that as a webcam source. You use that for your Skype or any other application out there that looks for a webcam source. The second purpose, and this is only applicable in Atom Mini Pro, is that that USB-C port becomes a recording port, which means that you can have your USB-C SSD drive like this from Angelbird called SSD to go connected to that, then it will record H.264 files into your USB-C drive. That's very helpful, especially if you want to have a recording of your final show. So how do you do that? Easy, just connect it to your Atom Mini Pro. And when, when that's connected, you go to your Atom software control and under the output tab, you will see record stream. There's very cool things in this new feature of Atom Mini Pro, which I'm really, really excited about. First, you give it a file name. So I put here test recording and then you will see drives right here. So drive one and drive two. I know that there's only one USB-C port in there, but if you're using, let's say, a Blackmagic Multidock 10G where it comes with four bays, uh, that you can basically configure into two groups we're in two base each then you know atom mini pro will see that as a two drive setup so you will see here that drive one and drive two will be active but since we're just connecting one ssd right here or one usb-c drive right here then i can only see one there are two functions here first is display status if i turn this on you will see in your multi view that you have your time remaining right here so it shows me that I still have 67 minutes and 33 seconds worth of recording time that's remaining in my drive. Next function is record in all cameras. When you turn this on and if you hit record, it will trigger all the recording of all Blackmagic Pocket cameras in your setup. And that's really cool because I can also make sure that they're running the same time code because your Atom will provide a timecode generator that provides timecodes to every camera that's running in my live production or connected to my live production. That's so great. That's so cool. If I hit record, you will see that in our multi viewer, it gives me a recording status of my recording as well. So that's, that's a pretty neat feature as well for your multi viewer. So at least when you look at your multi viewer, you will see how much time left for your recording and then you can do whatever you want to do during that sequence. Another thing, you can also control your recording within your panel. So you don't have to go to your software control. I can start and stop my recording from here. So if I want to start recording, I just press record and then it starts recording. If I want to stop it, I just click stop and then that stops recording. You see that there's a status light available in here as well. So there are four different status lights that you will see here. First, status light is green, meaning that the disc is formatted and it's ready to use. It will also become red if you've started your recording. There's also a slow blinking red when your drive is about to be full. And if it's a fast blinking red, it means that your drive is not capable of the speed of the recording. So you might better get a better quality hard drive, like what we're using, the Angel Bird SSD to go. Now there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And again, if you have any questions, or anything at all, please feel free to drop your comments and we will respond to you as soon as we can. If you still haven't, please like and subscribe to our page for more videos like this. Again, my name is Larry. Thank you for watching.